Historically, one might look at Bloomington Normal and say this is white bread America. When I started in 78, it was rare for them to interact with someone outside of their race. They have as a, a model, as a teacher, physician, dentist, pharmacist, person that helps you at the, at the store, anybody, shopkeeper, whatever. And Bloomington Normal is changing. It's very much more diversified than it was 20, 30, or 40 years ago. The hope is to, to get people to realize that just because somebody is different, they're not a threat, they're not dangerous, that they have hopes and dreams just like we do. No matter where you come from and who you are or what you look like, uh, we all have a right to be um, treated respectfully. And we have to be responsive, so I think we need to, in a sense, be almost like a clearinghouse. Okay, if something's going on, that people know that we're going to respond. And we might all be richer in the process. The mission of Not In Our Town is to stop hate, address bullying, and to make a safe and inclusive community. That is the mission. I've been involved since we started it in 1995. The producer of Not In Our Town, the original 1993-94 movie, Patrice O'Neill is a friend. And when I found out she had made this film and she told me about it, um, in December of 1995, we scheduled some screenings here just to kind of acquaint people with it. And we did it like a general town forum. And it kind of blossomed from there. I have a, a kind of a family legacy. My parents were involved in the civil rights movement and I was involved at that time in the 60s and 70s. And this is really just a continuation of what I believe in and my passion and what I think we have a responsibility to address. I wanted to be an agent of change with students. I decided not in our schools would be a great access point. Well, actually, my husband and I are involved in the Not In Our Town Faith in Action, so we helped encourage the visit to the Hindu temple. That was totally designed to erase any mystique or misconceptions or stereotypes that people have about um, Hindu religion. Recently we had a vigil at the old courthouse stairs that was widely attended. That was just meant to be in solidarity with the Muslim members of our community. And the Muslims that were there were so overwhelmed at the sh solidarity shown to their community that they then planned the open house that took place back in February. Through the years, Not In Our Town has done a number of things. I think probably some of the most significant have just been community dialogues. To develop positive community police relationships, as well as to provide a forum for those people who wanted to address concerns and to provide a way in which this could be done in a mutually respectful manner. To stop hate, address bullying, and to make a safe, inclusive community within the school. Well, I've been a part of Not In Our School since fall of 2015. And I've been more of like a student leader in trying to install a Not In Our School into a normal community. Like, their message just inspires me of ending bigotry, hatred, intolerance in our community. In Bloomington Normal, we're really tight-knit, and just all of these factors are things that should be eradicated. So the school is just a smaller um, community inside the larger community. I think it's a really good way for students to get involved with their communities and to get involved with to interact with other people within their communities. Um, the students at Normal Community and not in our town decided to put sticky notes on every locker saying positive things for the students. Everybody had heard about it and um, students were so happy to like get a compliment, just like something small to make their day feel like better. And our school's back at it again. I've seen and heard a lot of wisdom from youth. I think it's important that we invest in the younger generation. Sustainability is always a challenge. We need to develop close partnerships with others who share this vision. Clearly drawing in new members, um, letting people know that this isn't some radical organization. We have a website now, we're on uh, Facebook. Um, so we're doing things to become more permanent. So recently, we've taken steps at a recent meeting that we had um, in March to become a chartered member of the YWCA. 
we're hoping that that will provide the continuity in our community that we really need. Teachers get involved as they can, and, and the reality is their jobs are getting harder and harder. It, that would be awesome if parents did become involved. I would never want anybody to come to Bloomington Normal and not feel safe. The goals of Not In Our Town to create a safe and inclusive community are goals that aren't yet realized. So I think it's incumbent on each of us to be engaged in that work. I do feel like I'm part of something great, like I'm part of something that's like moving us towards like a positive direction. Personally, I love it a lot because I like to help out in the community. Positive experiences over and over again. Publicly, when we say Blooming to Normal, when we say... Not in our town. 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 Not in our town.